If it's brown, it's down. If it flies, it dies. If you're gonna hunt, you gotta do it right. Shotgun or rifle, be ready to go. Ammo and ammo, that's my motto. Well, welcome back to another episode of the Bow Hunter Unleashed, and we are returning to Limpopo, South Africa, our 2017 hunt here for another hunt. Actually, this is my hunt. Uh, it's going to be a bow hunt. And we're riding by right now where we're actually going to set up at. We're looking at this spot. We're going to set up right here in this tall blind for that hunt. So um, <clears throat> this this video here was shot. You know, we're riding by and taking a look at it. So we set up, come back the next morning. We're going to set up and get back in the blind and uh, go after water buck. Now, there were some nice kudu coming in. There's another nice impala that was coming in. So there were a couple of options here. Um, that kudu there, it, it's just a little bit shy. I mean, I was really thinking about him, but that one there is a little bit shy, a little bit, still a little immature. He's getting some white tips to him, but he's not uh, what we're looking for. But this water buck right here was like locked and loaded. I saw him the very first day we were out scouting when we got there. The first day we hunted with Teresa on the Impala hunt, I'd seen him again. And uh, so I had put him in my sights. A water buck was not what I was after uh, originally. But um, upon seeing him, I really like the character. He's wide, which is a little non-typical for them. They're a little more, you know, narrow, close together. Um, not so wide pitched as he is right there. So we're actually setting up in the blind. You can see the ram running to the back right back there. Um, and he'll come around. That's him standing there, center shot, kind of to the left. Very nice ram, just under what I've already uh, harvested before. So I've got a trophy that size, so we decided to let him go. Um, here I am. I'm hunting with my bow. I'm hunting with Obsession Huracan. I'm shooting full metal jackets and dirt nap broadheads at, on the 100 grain. The dirt nap comes with a ferrule that you can take off. It's a 25 grain. And so I, I just take that off and shoot the 100 grain. So you just hear the problem is you can see just how close all the animals are. So it's, it's just a waiting game, waiting for that shot opportunity for the animals to move because, you know, you don't want to make that shot and then wound something else that you don't intend to shoot because you get a good pass through and they're just standing too close. This is a pretty active water hole. Uh, every morning we would creep up on it real early. It's the first, first water hole we'd check right after daylight. Uh, I always see quite a bit of game coming into it. In fact, it was the earliest spot uh, where we were at that they would come to in the morning. It's the first water hole that we would see activity at. And that ram impala is in the back, and, and he keeps really tempting me there. Um, he's out in the open, giving me some good shot opportunity there. He's really not but about 40 yards, so he's really nice, good character on him, good heavy mass on his horn. So, again, I'm, I'm sitting there contemplating whether or not do I just go ahead and take him because we're, we're coming up here, and now he's, he's moved himself out, got himself in the open a little bit, and uh, he's giving me that shot opportunity. So, here, you know, here it comes. It's time to take him. Um, he's clear. And there it is. Now, water buck is very hard to track usually uh, with a bow. They don't bleed very well. Uh, the hair really closes up and keeps the blood trail down. They don't spew a whole lot. But this one, uh, as you can see right here, watch this shot. Nice shot right behind the shoulder. It actually exited out through the shoulder on the other side, so the dirt nap broadhead really did its job and it left a really good blood trail in comparison to what they normally see in South Africa from, from you know, archery kills. That full metal jacket's flying at about 309 feet a second out of that bow. It's a 70-pound it's a bow shooting a 489-grain uh, arrow. So... Um, you know, it's got good weight. It gets great penetration. And we're just very impressed with this setup completely throughout this entire hunt. So here you see he breaks and he takes off. And then the cameraman is going to follow him here, which is actually the guide. And you can see right there on that right shoulder, you can see where it actually exited out. And he is just spewing blood out that right shoulder and just leaving us a really good blood trail here. And he's only going to go probably about 60, 70 yards. Uh, he doesn't go that far uh, before he lays up. And um, we'll just give him just a few minutes, and then we're going to get out and, you know, we'll go to tracking him.
Now, that's a whole lot of game there. So, uh, you know, they really leave a lot of tracks and a lot of dust. So, uh, we're going to climb down now and we'll, uh, we'll get to tracking. There's my arrow. Nice pass through shot. Okay, tell me what have you shot just now? Water buck. Very Hopefully, nice. giant water buck. The guide says it's giant water buck. We will see. <laughs> well, this is where the where the arrow is right here. The arrow went right through him. You can see. Perfect. And he's shooting. Yeah. Which arrows are you shooting? Dirt nap, hundred grain. Got a clean pass through on that water buck bull. Let's, like see. Let's see if we can. Uh, Find blood. Look, look, look at how, look how thick it is on an arrow. A lot of blood. That's what we're looking for. Mm -hmm. Now it's time for the trackers to go to work. Let's see. Let's see where the trackers is leading us. <laughs> Come, Daniel. Show us where's the water buck. He's pumping blood too. It started bleeding here. There. Did you get the first blood? Uh -huh. Yeah, more there. Yeah. Well, here here. certainly here we go. Bull didn't. There we go. Go yeah. far. No problem, blood trailing in over here. Mm-hmm. Here's the hey look here. Here's the One flesh. of the fledges. Yeah. Look at me. Man, yes, this thing he's just pouring blood. Really blood blood. And it's funny he's throwing more on the right side, huh? Yeah. Can you see that? Yeah, went in the left and out the right, so he's... Yeah, here you can... I want to see if I can find a leaf with some blood. But one thing on a water buck is, they don't throw a lot of blood, it's funny, huh? I've seen them that they kind of almost close down with the long hair, and uh, they don't throw a lot of blood. He's rolling there, look at that. There. There he is. Yeah, he's on Out that shoulder. Uh-huh. Out that shoulder. Also broke the shoulder blade, huh? Eh? Uh huh. It's fall. Yeah. Well, congratulations on this water bug. This is an exceptional bull. This is yeah. an exceptional bull. Very good. <laughs> Can't zoom out more. Yeah, you have to watch some stickers, baby. If it's brown, it's down. If it flies, it dies. If you're gonna hug, you gotta do it right. Shotgun or rifle, you ready to go. Demo and ammo, that's my motto. A couple green hits, 30 all six won't let me down. If the grunt call, then it hits the ground. If it's brown, it's down. If it flies, it dies. If you're gonna hunt, you gotta do it right. 
Shotgun or rifle, we ready to go. 